Hi right, guys. Well, it's turned into another hot, sticky summer day in March. It is a Monday, March 27th, 2023, and uh, I've been out partying with my clueless, lovable friends like it was 1999 all weekend. So I uh, haven't been thinking much about uh, my Monday morning chronicle of the collapse. And uh, <clears throat> so I did not even have to make it to either the mainstream media or uh, medium.com right here on my collapse chronicles at gmail.com uh, email my email box you know I am a a member of uh, I, I subscribe to the Economist magazine the little newsletter you know to keep up uh, you know with the World Economic Forum and all of those guys uh, all of those globalists and, and fossil fuel investors and all the like uh, you know keeping track of my enemies so, uh, I am thrilled to hear that, uh, I don't know, you're probably already aware of this, because I, you know, I assume if I do go over to the mainstream media, it is the, uh, it is the number one story on the planet. Did you realize it is Sustainability Week? This is the eighth annual Sustainability Week, you know, meaning corporate, corporate sustainability week is what they're talking about. I, I guess the first seven sustainability weeks went uh, right under my radar, and good God, they are. Oh yes, my our old friend Antonio Guterres is there to talk about corporate uh, sustainability. I guess leading this is the Honorable Graham Stewart, Minister of State for Energy Security and Net Zero for the UK government, will be uh, the Grand Marshal of this circus. So what the hell is Sustainability Week. Uh, Sustainability Week is a hybrid event with two days hosted in London and one day virtual. <clears throat> Alright. Featuring the most influential speakers and leading sustainability figures on policy, business, investment, finance, and civil society. And there you go. And good Lord, uh, you can imagine what this website looks like. Okay. <clears throat> the 8th Annual Sustainability Week Empowering Businesses to Accelerate Action on sustainability. Yes, I wish you could see some of the photos. I honestly don't know if the photos are photos of sustainable businesses. Alright, so who are we? Who are we? We are the independent guide to sustainability, helping our audience cut through the noise and supporting them as they achieve sustainability goals and reach outcomes with actual business value, meaning ways to make money off of the corporate sustainability movement. We help businesses, policymakers, financiers, investors, NGOs and others achieve sustainability goals faster. So guys, uh, 
I don't think I need to tell you. Uh, if, if you have a brain, let, let, let's just cut through the noise. You know, they want uh, they want to help cut through the noise about sustainability. There, there, there really isn't that much to cut through. Whenever you see the word sustainability, sustainability, sustainable, whatever especially when it's in a corporate context, although it, it doesn't matter what context it's in, but particularly when it's in a corporate context, the word sustainability is, it, it, it's not just a synonym, it's just not similar to the word greenwashing. It is the definition of sustainability is greenwashing, uh, well otherwise known as unadulterated horseshit. Uh, the, the, this whole bullshit, sustainability, I don't care if it's the United Nations sustainable development. So if you hear it, it you know, like it attached to the word development, to corporate, if, if you ever hear about a sustainable corporation, it is a greenwashing corporation. The, the very term corporate sustainability or sustainable development is an oxymoron. It, it, is, uh, it, it is absurd on the face of it. There is no such thing on any level of any, of any corporate body uh, being sustainable on any level. That can't happen. It cannot happen by the nature of uh, the global corporatocracy and sustainability. It, 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 it is one of, it, it, it's one of the overarching bright green lies. It's an umbrella term for every one of the bright green lies. It is a, oops, it is a lie. A bright green lie uh, pulled out of thin air to apparently to try to hoodwink some of these little lefty greenies, I guess. Uh, it is a way for the global corporatocracy to think how outrageous can we be in our lie? Just as we're just going to repeat this lie uh, enough times to where particularly the young generation, what they're aiming for, as we'll see here, is there, you know, people, you know, I'm 63, uh, Derek Jensen's my, you know, the author of Bright Green Lies, he's also 63, uh, we're going to be gone soon enough, and, and what they're doing is they're planting the seed, and the younger and younger they can get this message out, I'm sure there's children's books, I have no doubt that there are uh, children's books, movies, whatever, uh, spreading the bright green lie of sustainability. They are, they're, they're making, doing everything they can to make this lie d d just part of our DNA. So they can go right on about doing what corporations do, which is destroy the planet. Yeah. Well, I'll get together with you before I do. I am. Uh, I'm getting lessons on how to use the uh, Black and Decker sustainable electric lawnmower. Uh, I found once me to know that her Save the Planet electric lawnmower 
uh, to, we, I, anyway, that's a whole nother rant, but I absolutely love my electric lawnmower. But anyway, uh, we're just going to look at the agenda. This is this week's Sustainability Week agenda. Um, all right, we have a keynote address from Antonio Guterres. Yes, the, you know, the head doomer in chief. Okay, here are some of the, here is some of the, uh, the sessions you can, the panel discussions you can attend, of course, leading off is decarbonizing business and industry. Yes, so all of these people, uh, nobody's name I recognize, I'm glad to see, okay, then we have averting climate and human catastrophe through partnership. Averting climate catastrophe requires a more ambitious development and climate finance system. Yes, governments need to develop resilient infrastructure, you know, build more stuff to save the planet. Uh, developing resilient infrastructure. Developing the resilient infrastructure will do more to exacerbate the climate and human catastrophe uh, than pretty much anything I can think of. Yes, here is bold concrete action is needed. You know, uh, pour more cement to uh, save the planet. Yes. Oh! The, uh, the head honcho is Rajiv Shah, who is the president of the Rockefeller Foundation, and Robert Guest, the deputy director of The Economist. There you go. The president of the Rockefeller Foundation is getting together with the deputy editor of The Economist magazine to tell us how we are going to avert climate and human catastrophe. Okay, then of course after that, financing a greener future. How can the banksters behind it all, you know, the banksters, behind the destruction of a planet be remodeled to encompass and nurture its investments on the journey to net zero. All right. Oh, God. Next. How is AI helping people, communities, and business in the fight against climate change. We have Matt Britton, the president of one of these alpha, one of these Google alphabets. There we go. Don't forget circularity and the supply chain. All right, we're going to have a fireside chat. Yes, with a UN climate change high-level champion. Hmm. Teaming up with the Global Energy and Climate Innovation Editor from The Economist, Driving the flywheel faster on the journey to a net zero future. Yes. Uh, of course, don't forget innovative technology and adaptation. Uh, imagine that. Leading this will be Stacy Kalk, head of sustainability for Shopify. 
And there you go. Uh, all right, do not forget biodiversity. Did you realize that habitats are being rapidly eroded along with the rich strata of biodiversity? How are corporations investing in nature and securing habitats for future generations? Yes. Uh, yeah. So I love, so one of the leaders of biodiversity and natural capital answering the questions, how are corporations investing in nature and securing habitats for future generations would be Jim Sutter. He is the chief executive for the U.S. Soybean Export Council. Yes, teaming up with Eva Zabi, Chief Executive for Business for Nature. Okay. Good Lord, but uh, how are we? Oh, here we go. We're getting close to the end. Up in the air, the future of aviation fuel, headed by Jonathan Council, the group head of sustainability for the International Airlines Group. Uh, but we are going, I guess they close with the little kids. All right. I mean, I was looking at this picture and, and of Tiffany Smiley, of Tiffany Smiley, the chief program officer for the Economist Educational Foundation, and saying, this little girl looks a lot younger than Greta Thunberg. Like, like, who is this kid? <clears throat> so to round out, what does sustainability mean for tomorrow's future leaders? Join us for an engaging panel discussion with a group of insightful children as we delve into the topic of corporate greenwashing, I'm sorry, of uh, sustainability, these young voices will bring their experiences, concerns, and perspectives on various sustainability issues that are critical for their future. Yes. The discussion will provide a platform for young people to share their perspectives on the environmental practices of corporations and how they can do more to be sustainable. Yes. The panel will also explore how young people can play a role in encouraging companies to be more sustainable and responsible and what they expect what they expect from their future employers well whether they expect it or not uh, this is what they can expect from their future employers Anyway, guys, uh, th this, uh, <laughs> you, you know, uh, all we can do is laugh. All we can do is laugh at this point. Uh, sustainability. Yes, you little sustainable dog. This is one, this is one storage shed in one small town in Texas. There's the uh, planet saving 
electric lawnmower I have to get busy with. Uh, Jesus. What do you think, little dog? Are you a sustainable little dog or what? One tool shed in one small town in Texas. Get out there and be sustainable while you still can. Oh my God.